What's up guys, it's Brian here from Lake Hick or Scooby Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we're still on our series of advanced side mount penetration dives and we're going to continue on with what I call the porthole entry. Now this video can be disturbing. It's also going to be very dangerous and challenging if you attempt to do anything like this. So I do want to encourage you, do not attempt this type of penetration without proper training and supervision. You got to have both. Just because you're properly trained, you still need somebody there just in case something happens. In my case, I had a group of divers with me, so I had plenty of help there in the event that I was to get stuck. Now we're going to look at this in, um, we're going to look at the edited clip and I'm going to kind of walk you through what I'm doing, but then I'm going to show you the unedited clip as well. And I'm going to show you how much setup it took to actually make this penetration safely. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video here. And like I said, I call this the porthole entry because I'm going through a little porthole. And I am in side mount here, but I'm actually in a no mount situation. That simply means I've removed both cylinders. You'll notice I've got one cylinder that I'm gunning out in front of me. I've got the other cylinder that's actually clipped to my crotch ring. And I'm going to be controlling that cylinder with my legs alone. Now, once we get through the edited version, I'll kind of show you the setup, how I removed the cylinders, the sequence that I removed the cylinders. Um, and I had to do that to be able to fit through the porthole of this vessel here. Uh, another option is, of course, you can stage a bottle. That just simply means you remove a bottle and lay it to the side and, and gun one through. But I actually wanted to manipulate this bottle and practice some of my advanced side mount techniques uh, on this particular penetration. So that's why I clipped it off and controlled it with my knee. Now, one thing that you will notice as the camera kind of goes to the side, I'm not really stirring up anything. I'm not allowing that bottle to bang off the bottom of the vessel. As you can see, I'm clearly controlling that bottle with my legs and I'm keeping it up and out of the way. So now that we've seen the edited version, let's go into the unedited version and you're gonna see that we've done a lot of color correction here and things like that. So you're gonna see more, um, more of a green uh, footage, if you will. However, I'm gonna walk you through step by step how I actually made this penetration. So let me get the video up and once again, guys, please do not go out and try this without proper training and supervision. The dives that we make, please understand, we've got boundaries that we don't cross. We know what we can safely uh, penetrate and what we safely can't. Uh, we've made these penetrations a, a buku of times. And, and like I said, we have a crew there with us when we're making these penetrations in case something happens there to assist us. But let's go ahead and watch the unedited version of this and I'm gonna show you the entire setup here. Um, you will notice that as I approach this wreck, I'm really negotiating on whether or not I can do it, say, in a no-mount situation where I just have one bottle or a no-mount situation where I'm having to manipulate both bottles. And I'm actually going to go ahead and try to manipulate both bottles here. Once I determine that I'm not going to be able to get through it with one of the cylinders, I'm going to go ahead and prep my right bottle. Now my right bottle is my long hose, um, and I decided that's going to be the one that I clip off here. Uh, I'm actually going to be taking the short bottle with me. No one's going to be coming in after, you know, behind me. I don't really need a long hose here in this situation. And I've got a 36 inch short hose over on my left bottle, so that was plenty of length to really stretch out and get where I need. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip this off. I'm taking a spare double ender that I keep clipped on my right hand side here. I'm gonna clip it to the piece of paracord that I keep around the, the neck of my cylinders on my side mount bottles. I'm gonna go ahead and stow the long hose here. And I'm gonna go ahead and clip off this bottle to my crotch D-ring. And you're gonna see that bottle's just gonna drop straight down. I'm maintaining trim, maintaining buoyancy, and I'm not letting that bottle kind of stir up the bottom or you can bang up on the bottom. The key here is to protect your equipment anytime that you do something like this. So now that I've got that bottle temporarily prepped, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and prep my left cylinder. Now with my left cylinder, what I'm actually gonna do with it is I'm not gonna wing it, I'm actually going to gun it out in front of me. So I removed my necklace or removed the hose. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the bottle. And I have disconnected my buoyancy compensator here. One thing I want you guys to remember, you've got to have proper trim and buoyancy at all times. You need to be able to manipulate your buoyancy with your weighting and your breathing alone. 
Now, I've actually secured my, um, my right cylinder to my legs. I'm actually going to be manipulating it with my knees the entire time as I gun my left bottle through and I start to slowly navigate through the porthole here. You'll notice that here in a minute, that bottle is going to shift. And what I'm actually doing here is I'm shifting that bottle with my knee so that I can get it through the porthole without damaging anything. And then I'm going to keep it locked in. Now, a cool thing about aluminum cylinders, aluminum cylinders get very floaty as you start to use them, especially in side mount. And because the heaviest part is the valve where my first aid's attached, what that allows me to do is actually use my legs to manipulate the back end of that bottle. I've just got to keep the front attached. That creates a pivot point, and then my body can kind of help keep the trim of the bottle. As I come up out of the vessel, I'm going to go ahead and re-secure my left cylinder, which is my short hose. Notice how I'm staying neutrally buoyant. I'm not bouncing up and down on the wreck there. Once I get this bottle back into position, then I'll go ahead and unclip the right bottle there and put it back or attach it, if you will, reattach it. And like I said, guys, don't go out and try this without proper training. There are plenty of advanced side mount courses that you can take. There's overhead environment courses that you can take. But you do need to seek out a, a side mount instructor, and specifically a side mount instructor who is versed and who has training and experience in advanced side mount techniques. So now that I've got everything on the left cylinder situated, I'm going to go ahead and resituate my right cylinder here. I always start by clipping it off first, and that's just because of the side mount system I use. I use bungees to secure the top, so it's very easy just to snap off the, um, the bottom of the cylinder there. I'm going to go ahead and get my long hose adjusted and pulled out. I'm going to go ahead and get bungeed around, and then I'll re-secure by doing the wrap with the long hose. Once all that is said and done, and I'll either switch back to it or, or snap it off. But yeah, that's the uh, porthole penetration here. It's actually one of my favorite ones to do just because it is very challenging. Um, and we're gonna watch it one more time on the edited version because I understand you can see there's a lot of color correction that we do in these videos. But we'll go ahead and start this back up again. This is a very challenging but fun penetration dive to do. It's really going to allow you to focus on your trim, your buoyancy. As you notice that as I'm swimming through here, my BC is not hooked up. The only way I can manipulate my buoyancy is either through oral inflation or through breathing alone. Now, if you've seen our videos in the past about balance rigs, you'll understand why a lot of times I don't dive ditchable weight systems, and it's because I am in a balanced uh, rig, a balanced or a ballast out rig system. I'm controlling my buoyancy strictly with my breathing. I'm controlling my trim strictly with just my body movement. I'm controlling my equipment. In this case, I'm controlling that cylinder with my knees. And it's just a fun little penetration. It's something that's gonna build your confidence up. Like I said, please seek out proper training for you attempt to do this. But it is something neat to really push your limitations in a safe way and to really practice your skills. Not only am I doing penetration skills here, I'm also doing side mount skills in general where I'm removing and replacing bottles. Because I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was educational. Once again, it is a challenging dive to make and it's something I would encourage you to do without proper training and proper supervision as well. But I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, big thumbs up. Definitely share this video. If you got any questions, Drop me a comment down below, and I'll try to answer your questions as quickly as I can. As always, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business.